a lot of sport growing up, but running is not something that I am naturally, I would say, good at. I had to work really hard to just be okay runner. Be more relaxed. Lengthen the stride versus push. here but the cans did not make it from London so last night John was freaking out we sent a car from London to Berlin overnight and they were about to arrive so that's the start of life gonna load up the fridge hit a little run chill eat some food get ready for tomorrow <laughs> During the first week, Saturday, yeah, yeah. I mean, kids did like a big run. Now, I'm just going to bet anyone here, so. I've got to go down, boy. Feeling fast, feeling sexy. Now nah, it's good, man. We've got a lot of people here. I didn't think a lot would turn up because there's so many run clubs on. I think we've got like Nike. Uh, and I did ask down the road that are all doing it at the same time so I was a bit worried but we've got people here there's probably like a hundred people here and a lot of them running the marathon which is great and then a lot of them have flown in from other countries which is also great so yeah we're gonna have some fun run and gun baby let's go yeah okay so the plan is it's gonna be 5k guys uh, just just it's gonna be kind of like an easy pace obviously we don't want to burn ourselves out for tomorrow uh, so yeah nice and chill we're gonna head off that way uh, we, there will be parts where we'll wait for everyone to catch up and everything, so so yeah, go at your own pace. Okay, All right. let's, let's do it. Two, one, let's go! Bro, they got me down for the elite, bro. Yeah, way they. Oh, the bit, boys. First place. <laughs> We're even weeping. Have a two in front of it. Here we are. What's up? We had a little shakeout. This morning with 247 and then no no aches and pains. And I mean, for what it's worth, my heart rate was at 126 today running eight minute miles. So we told you all it, all it takes is like when you put in the load, when you put in that work and you start pushing yourself and you're not getting the recovery you need, knowing that all the work that you've done has been done and is in there. Something that I always think about before every race is knowing the work is done and letting it go and just being the day is the day and just throw it all out there and just pushing through that that pain knowing it's going to end and knowing that you're going to suffer at some point and at the end the last few miles you'll know that you gave everything that you had because those last few miles are where you start feeling it yeah most. no i appreciate that thanks for uh bearing bearing with me for the last 16 weeks um it's been good. just to start i've got the bug for sure i'm excited all right, 23906. <laughs> Let's do it. I'll see you on the other side, Chris. All right, man, get it done. I'm pumped for you. I'll be watching. Yeah, I appreciate you. Thanks, sir. You got it. Bye. Bye. Just going to go and have some fun. I think we live in this world of like maximalism where. 
the first thing you say to someone is like, what's your time? And, you know, how far are you, how fast are you going for? But to me, running is so new. Running is not something that I am naturally, I would say, good at. I've had to work really hard to just be an okay runner. The goal now and the goal in the future is to obviously try and be better, but building a brand, having a daughter, you know, being a husband and trying to train like a top athlete, definitely a, a lot to manage. It's around 5 a.m. Just woke up. How are you? How are you feeling? Feeling pretty good. Uh, slept not bad. Got about four and a half hours of sleep. I was on the phone. <laughs> yeah, slept not bad. Four and a half hours of sleep. It is what it is. Time to race. It's race day. Getting the food in. Trying some sweet potato, banana, berries, and a couple of these. A couple of these waffles. So got the carbs in. What are we doing? It's a hundred and... What are the Martin things? 40. So we've got a couple of them. 80 grams of carbs in the bottle. Well, no, 160 grams of carbs in the bottle. We've got about 100 grams of carbs here. So we're 260 grams of carbs. So it's about 2 grams of carbs per kilo of body weight. And I'm about 85 kilos right now. So honestly, not used to eating this much food at this time in the morning. But yeah, we got it. And then in the sports bottle, we've got about the same. So I'm going to sip on that from the minute I leave here to the start line. And then I'm going to throw this so someone's going to get a bottle today. And that's it. And espresso's on Hercules. Ready to go, ready. Making some waffles. It's all science really, isn't it? It's not. It's that saying of like feeling for performance. The concept of also the gelling strategy, which I'm trying to learn. Which I'm just going to mimic him. It's basically a gel every... Three miles ish. Yeah, I mean it's better to do it by time. Time. Because it's how long your body uses stuff. A lot of people go every five k, but if you slow down and speed up, yeah, true. it can be wrong. So we're gonna aim for like every half hour. Every thirty minutes. Mm. Gonna try a new gel, and then I'm gonna take some cadence, raw dog it, um, if I have to. But carbs are gonna be more important than sodium because I've loaded about three thousand milligrams of sodium in this bottle. I've got about two and a half thousand milligrams of this. So based on my sweat test, pre, during, I should be okay with about 5,000 milligrams. But honestly, it's the dog in you, isn't it? Yeah. Carbs, a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of dog level 10. And we'll be good. Carbs go and have that. Yeah. How are we feeling? I feel like you're wrong. Got a pep talk from the boys. Nervous, but excited. Wanna let myself down. I get well bad, bro. I just wanna do myself proud to be honest with you. Yo! Quick little warm up to the start line. 2K. Nice and easy. I'm gonna hit a little bit of stretching. Don't know what to expect when I get there, but I like to feel good. Hello and welcome to the 50th BMW Berlin Marathon. 58,212 entrants for today's journey of joy around Germany's capital. Five, four, three, two, one, go!
This is it now. This is it. This Let's is go, it. Guys. It's a countdown, bro. Let's go. I'll see you at the finish. I suppose the time, um, I set a pretty high expectation and benchmark myself. It was audacious and I think coming off the back of that, like definitely a little bit emotional. Um, just called my wife, she's back in New York. Um, the last month or so has been tough. I think I'm trying to train like a professional athlete, but also build a business, build a family, juggling multiple plates right now. It's not an excuse, but I think I'm trying to do my best at every single one of those things. And then you kind of have your glass full on everything all the time. So, you know, I'm sacrificing a lot to be here and to run Berlin. My wife's at home looking after her daughter and, you know, nights are tough or up multiple times during the night. Um, Training's probably taking a bit of a back seat. Again, no excuses, but um, mm. definitely feel a little bit emotional. Boy, saw me have a little tear, but I had a lot of fun, a lot of love out there, a lot of people cheering me on, cheering her on. Um, won't be my last one for sure, but got a lot of respect for anyone out there who's putting in 42K and 26 miles because it's one of the hardest things I've ever done personally. And, um, Say it's go home and see my family on sick. Tired. Ready to pick up my dog, get back to New York. Let's go off the plane. PS, we got the cadence there, we just launched here. Super cool. Super cool moment and uh, yeah, it was a good trip. Good to get with the boys. Uh, Jake smashed it. I'm still oh, I like insane what he's done. Congrats to George on the pop-up. Um, everyone was there, it was like family back together, so it was nice. And then uh, we got New York in four or five weeks, we're just gonna have some fun. We got a couple of cool things coming up. I think new samples just arrived at the house in LA, so we're gonna get together with the boys, try those, new flavors of the cans. Got a cool couple of days coming up, launching the Beach Kid with Max Joliffe, uh, which you'll be able to see on YouTube. So yeah, good trip, good to get together and excited to just continue with the work.